morning from South Orange County, California. If you watched my last video, you saw that I had taken a trip up to Big Bear Lake, California with my mom. So we just recently completed that trip and I am down here at my favorite campsite. It is time to leave California. Uh, I've really enjoyed my stay here. I enjoyed spending time up in the Sierra. That was awesome. And I had some good quality time with family. However, it is time to move on. Today, I need to get this camper in ship shape and my rig, my truck and the inside cab of my truck is just filthy. Everything's dirty, everything's covered in dust and I just need to get it road ready for the next leg of my summer adventures. So that is what I'm going to do today and I'm going to bring you with me. I'm also going to bring you with me on the road as we set out to our next destination. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, go ahead and get started with getting this place cleaned up. First thing on the agenda is to get the outside of this baby washed. We are headed to the car wash. sharp and ready to roll. Need some food, but the fridge is all cleaned up. She is looking sharp outside and in. I'd say the rig and I are ready for this next leg of my summer adventures. I'm super excited and stoked to get back on the road. I'm picking up with you several hours later. I went out for a beautiful dinner in Laguna Beach. It was awesome. I went with some family and it was my send off dinner as I get ready to head out once again. That's probably the hardest part of living on the road full time for me is when I do get comfortable someplace with family or friends and spend a little time there, it always comes time to say goodbye again and it's always a little bit bittersweet. But I do know that I'll be back and once I'm out there, again, I remember why I do this and it, uh, it all comes back really quickly and you know, I have no regrets. So I am going to be getting to bed early tonight because I will be leaving bright and early in the morning, probably about 3 a.m. to get through the desert before it gets too hot. So I will say good night here and I will see you all in the morning. Good night.
morning. I got a little bit later start than I had anticipated. I left at 4 a.m. instead of 3 a.m. The sun is just starting to come up. Well on my way to Wyoming. Thunderstorms at the uh, Walmart parking lot, which is my home for the night. Well, I made it to my destination for the evening, which is the Walmart parking lot in Cedar City, Utah. You haven't really lived the road life unless you spent at least one night in a Walmart parking lot. <laughs> I've actually stayed at this one uh, a couple of times. I arrived just in time for the afternoon thunderstorms, which is very cool. I love a good thunderstorm and it cooled things off, which is really nice. I was feeling pretty ambitious on the drive up here and thought that I might just take a nap and uh, get back on the road for a few hours. However, once I got here, it hit me how tired I was. So I opted just to go ahead and stay here and get some rest for the rest of the afternoon. I went inside and did some shopping in Walmart, got some groceries for the next few days and just got myself a pre-made sandwich because I don't feel like cooking. <laughs> Tomorrow, the plan is to drive straight to the Tetons. Yeah, I'm so excited. It's gonna take about uh, 10 hours probably to get there with stops and uh, I do have a campsite reserved. It's gonna be another long drive after a long drive today, but I cannot wait to get to the end destination. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a night now, get some rest and uh, rest up for the long drive. So I will catch up with you all in the morning. Good night. I never was a big fan of driving in the city, but give me a wide open road and I'm happy to be in the driver's seat. Wyoming. However, this route will take me back into Utah for a short time and then back into Wyoming. So it just kind of psyched me out a little bit. I have officially entered the Bridger Teton National Forest.
Well, I made it and it is smoky. Smoky out west seems to be the new normal. I'm gonna go ahead and go to camp and get settled in. I'll be here for a while, so there will be plenty of time to check all this out and hopefully some of the smoke blows out of the way. Arrive at Gross Ventre Campground Road. Good morning, everyone. I am waking up here on my first morning in Wyoming this year, and I am stoked. I got here to camp last night, and I was really knackered after two days of long driving. I generally like to keep my driving to about a six-hour maximum per day. That did not happen over the last couple of days, but it was well worth it to be here right now. It's a chilly morning. It is in the 40s this morning. I have not experienced temps that low in quite some time, and it's actually very refreshing. I am currently at the Grovant campground and I have never stayed at an official campground when I visited the Tetons in the past. I've always boondocked. However, I was hearing lots of information that most of the boondocking has been full here. It's been very difficult to find a spot. So I just wanted to make sure that after such a long drive that I definitely had some place to stay without having to search around a bit to find a spot. I had this place for several days and the plan is to scout out a possible good boondocking spot so that I can transition from a campground to a boondocking space, which I think I would enjoy a bit more. Having said that, this spot is really nice. It is right along the Grovant River, and I've heard people mentioning uh, all around me that they've seen moose pretty frequently, so fingers crossed that I get to see a moose. I guess there's a cow and a baby somewhere around here, so it would be awesome to get to see them. As you saw from the shots yesterday, there is some smoke here in Wyoming. Uh, I believe it's coming from other states here out west. Similar to last year, however, if the visibility stays at what it was yesterday and doesn't get any worse, I, I'll be good by that. There's just no escaping it. It's going to be, I guess, something that we're going to be dealing with for quite some time with drought conditions, dry conditions, and I don't think that there's any way to escape it unless we have a really wet winter with lots of snowpack, which I am praying for. I hope you enjoyed coming along on this ride along video documenting my travels from Orange County, California here to Wyoming, starting at my camp in Orange County, California and ending here at my camp in Wyoming. When you live on the road full time, the drive is just as much a part of the journey as the time you spend at your destination. I'm going to wrap up this video here. However, stay tuned because the adventure in Wyoming is just beginning. We are going to be doing some hiking, some backpacking, uh, lots of exploration, lots of looking for wildlife, probably visit Yellowstone. It's going to be really exciting. Make sure that if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of the adventure in Wyoming to come. I absolutely love this state. I love how wild it is. I mean, a grizzly could potentially walk by my campsite at any time, a moose, it's very exciting, not to mention absolutely beautiful. It's one of my favorite states in all of the USA. So make sure you don't go anywhere. There is lots more to come. I always appreciate you guys watching. Love you all, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.